Hi guys! In this video we're going to be looking at magnetic field lines, Earth's magnetic field, magnetic field lines in a current carrying wire, magnetic field from a circular coil, magnetic field from a solenoid, and we'll finish with a summary. We're going to define what magnetic field lines are. Magnetic fields are mapped using magnetic field lines, which we sometimes call lines of flux. And you can see on this diagram of a bar magnet, an example of magnetic field lines. These lines show the direction of the force that would act on a north pole at that point in the field. This is similar to electric field lines, showing the direction of force on a positive charge. So here we have our north pole and it's experiencing a force away from this other north pole here. So the field line is pointing in this direction. Here we have a north pole that's being acted on with a force in this direction, following the field lines, and here the force acts in this direction, towards the south pole. The magnetic field lines are continuous and must flow from north to south. And we can see that all of these field lines originate at the North Pole and curve around towards the South Pole. This explains why like poles repel and unlike poles attract. So the field lines are pointing from North to South, so the North Pole is going to move towards the South Pole and therefore they're attracted. However here we see that there are no field lines and the North Poles are pushed away from each other, so they repel. Now we're going to discuss the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is actually very similar to the field produced by a bar magnet. So here's the field lines around a normal bar magnet. And here's Earth. And Earth acts like a bar magnet. The Earth's bar magnet will have to have its south pole at the north and its north pole at the south. And this might seem a bit confusing, but remember that a north-seeking north pole on a compass needs to be attracted to the south pole of the Earth's bar magnet, and vice versa. The direction of the magnetic field lines is the same as the direction of the north pole on a compass needle. So inside the Earth we have this giant bar magnet with south here and north there, and the direction of the magnetic field lines is the same as the direction of the north pole on a compass needle. So it's pointing this way, and the magnetic field lines are pointing that way, and here the North Pole would point this way. Now we're going to discuss magnetic field lines from a current carrying wire. For a current carrying wire, the magnetic field lines are concentric circles in a plane perpendicular to the length of the wire. So here we have our current carrying wire and the direction of the current is this way. And the magnetic field lines have to be in the plane perpendicular to the length of the wire, which means that they're in this plane here. So this is the plane of the field. And you can see that the field lines make concentric circles around the current carrying wire. Notice that if we reverse the current, it will change the direction of the magnetic field. The relative directions are given by something known as the right-hand grip rule. So on the left, we have our current going in this way, and the magnetic field lines form concentric circles pointing in this direction. If we reverse the current, then the magnetic field lines will also reverse direction. So now they're going in the opposite direction. The relative directions of the magnetic field are given by something known as the right-hand grip rule. Imagine if we grip the wire with our right hand and extend our thumb in a thumbs-up position. So here's the wire, here's our thumb pointing upwards parallel to the wire, so the wire and our thumb are parallel, and this is our right hand. Our thumb points in the direction of the conventional current, and the curl of our fingers points in the direction of the magnetic field. So here's the direction of our conventional current, in the same direction as the thumb, and the curl of our fingers around this way, point in the direction of the magnetic field, as you can see here. And when we say conventional current, we mean the direction that positive charge would flow in a conductor. So if the positive charge is flowing this way, that means that current is flowing in the same direction. 
Now we're going to discuss the magnetic field from a circular coil. Let's imagine a circular coil which carries current anti-clockwise and lies in a plane perpendicular to the screen. So here's our coil in the plane of the screen with current going around it in an anti-clockwise direction. And this coil is in the plane of the screen. And now we imagine the same coil in a plane perpendicular to the screen with current still going round it in an anti-clockwise direction. At the left edge of the coil, the current will be directed out of the screen. We denote this direction by a circle. So the magnetic field lines curl around the wire and the current is pointing upwards and out of the screen. So our viewpoint is here. And we denote this direction by a circle. Now by using the right hand grip rule we know the field will form concentric circles pointing anti-clockwise in the plane of the screen. So because the current is going through in this direction what we can see is that the field is going to form concentric circles around the wire and they're going to be pointing anti-clockwise as we know from the right hand grip rule. At the right edge of the coil the current will be directed into the screen we denote this direction by a cross. So now our viewpoint is beneath the wire. And so we draw the fact that the current is going into the screen with a cross. And by using the right hand grip rule again, the field will form concentric circles pointing clockwise in the plane of the screen. So here we can see that the field lines are going clockwise around the current direction. And now by considering the magnetic field lines from every point we can draw the magnetic field produced by a current carrying flat coil. So here are our field lines and they are passing through this coil. The cross and dot notation that we've just introduced can be used to denote the direction of any vector perpendicular to the plane of the screen or paper. So here we have representations of vectors pointing into the screen and here we have representation of vectors that are pointing out of the screen and the color of the dots and the crosses are the same as the variable just denoting here we're talking about current which has the color of orange and this will be used throughout our study of magnetic fields and an easy way to remember what the crosses and circle refer to is by thinking about looking at an arrow from different perspectives the man looking at the arrow head will see a circle because the arrow is pointing towards him. Whereas the man looking at the tail will see the cross produced by the feathers. Now we're going to look at the magnetic field produced by a solenoid. A solenoid is a long coil of wire with a large number of loops. And there's a representation of a solenoid here. And it's got a current flowing through it like this. We've previously seen the magnetic field induced by one loop of current carrying wire. So here's our loop of current carrying wire with the current flowing round like this and the magnetic field lines that pass through it. And we use the right hand rule to find out the direction of these magnetic field lines. Now we can approximate the magnetic field through a solenoid by considering a series of circular loops. So here are our circular loops and we're going to join these up to form a solenoid into a continuous loop and here's our solenoid. By overlapping the field produced from each loop we can see that the magnetic field lines will flow through the centre of the solenoid. So here are our circular loops and they're going to be connected up together as a solenoid and we can see that the magnetic field lines are going to go directly through the centre of the solenoid like so. If the solenoid is sufficiently long then the magnetic field lines will be approximately parallel within the solenoid. So here's our solenoid and we can see that through the centre the field lines are approximately parallel. And remember that parallel field lines indicate a uniform magnetic field. Hey guys I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level physics resource, 
Join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap reply smiley face and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.